This is going to be a crazy week. So we have our great customer, Justin Drew, coming back in. We did a recent uh, kind of car review of his car, how we kind of felt the mods he's done so far and the impact they've had on the car. He did end up wanting to go with a 265-35, kind of fill that fender gap a little bit, and an icier set of wheels. So we actually had this set of Work ZR10s. It's the gloss black with DC rim that we were going to go on his car. Perfect spec for the 2024 WRX. 18 mile and a half plus 38. I had this exact same finish on my GR Corolla last year. Absolutely loved it. And it's going to look Really good. He wants some Toyo Proxy Sport tires, which we kind of talked about like the balance between like tread wear and feel kind of performance, and these just seem to really fit the bill for him. So, another shout out to Toyo, great product. They are doing some tire pressure sensors, new lugs, and like two days after we got them all set up on these, we actually got word from him that he will be featured at the Cobb tuning booth at Boxerfest. So I think he'll be one of like three or four cars there. They are sending him a gaggle of goodies that we'll be putting on here at the shop. So not only is he coming in to get the wheels and tires on, but we are gonna be installing a Cobb full titanium exhaust for the 22 and up WRX. We'll be doing some radiator hoses, and then I believe another of the Cobb carbon fiber red line product line. I'm not sure which one it is, to be honest, I forget. But either way, we are in a crunch. It is Wednesday, Boxerfest is Sunday. We have to have this thing done in the next two days to be good to go. Let's start here. When the car gets here, we'll do all the rest of the stuff, but I'm very keen to see how this car looks with these, not only these wheels, I think they, they're beautiful, but also the fitment, I think. His car isn't super low, so once again, I think just filling out the space between the wheel arches. He does have the 10 millimeter wider flares and the wheels are gonna look really good. So I gotta get to work. What am I doing talking, dude? So these wheels do feature a red decal set. Now work does sell, I believe, green, red, blue, but Justin didn't want to match his brakes as good as possible. He has like that acid green, like the 2018 STI Brembos. He also has a few other parts, like the front, front chassis brace and some other stuff. So we actually ended up finding a set of custom decals through Overnight Crew. Uh, I believe their website is just overnightcrew.com. They sent two different shades just to make sure we can match the color that's on his car the best possible. So I'm gonna get these mounted and balanced prior to that. Once the decals get in here and the car comes in, we'll be able to hold them up, see what matches better. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and program the TPMS sensors and then we'll go ahead and mount the tires. So we just mount and balance these. The one thing I love about like a good quality tire and wheel combination is the balancing is so much easier. I think the most that's needed on like any side was like 0.5, so just great. So these are gonna be uh, waiting for the decals to go on and then just to get here tomorrow, we will get these on the car as well as the other various things. Hopefully beat the clock. I might have to pull a, a late night, but we'll get it done for them. back it is friday two days before boxer fest so justin dropped his car off yesterday evening at like 5 30 ish his stickers came in as you can see got the wheels in the car last night i also drained his coolant 
because we will be doing Cobb radiator hoses. And these look awesome. Like I'm really excited how these came out. Like I said, uh, Overnight Crew did send two different shades of this sticker. So I definitely wanted Justin to have some input on that. So yesterday when he came, I showed him the two different colors. This one's definitely more of like that acid green and the other one's more of like a neon, like a green color more than uh, yellow. So these look awesome. I really like how it like darkens the car's appearance overall. Big fan of that, that shiny uh, edge to the wheel just to kind of break things up a little bit. And I think also like because the car has like the it's not like a bright colored car, it's a very shiny car. So because it has the paint match fender flares, has all the gloss carbon, I think having that like bit of a gleam to it is gonna look really well and kind of complement the rest of the car the way that he's built it so far. So I'm excited to see these in the sunlight to be honest with you. The other thing too is these tires, though they are nice and meaty, the rim does kind of poke a little bit past the, this part of the tire. As the tire goes up towards the edge, it does kind of bulge out a little bit as you want it to. So I'm actually like the three quarter or like the very like angled uh, view of this car. I think these are gonna shine really bright and it's gonna look really good in the sunshine. Now that we're on the clock, we have to have this done by the end of today. And that way Justin can get to Boxerfest and flex at the Cobb booth. Congrats again, that's super cool. We got some Cobb products to install. So let's look at the table, let's see what we have. I'm fully confident that we could have this done today. Knock on wood. We are doing the Cobb upper and lower radiator hoses. Obviously it's a set. Coolant's already drained, just gotta put those on and then fill and burp the system. Next up is this beautiful Cobb titanium exhaust for the 2022 and up Subaru VBWX. Justin went with the burnt titanium for the tips. They're beautiful. This is so light. Jordan, I know you, you were picking this up, right? It's like crazy. But this thing is so light. I was like, we got the box in and I was like, is this just like the mufflers or a center pipe or a mid pipe or what? But this thing, uh, the welds are beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. I can't speak highly enough of this system is, I'm at a loss of words, guys. I'm gonna cry here. I'm feeling real emotional now. This is awesome though. So I'm very excited to put this on. Very light, very beautiful. I like the finish too. It's like that nice like satin finish to everything except for the tips. And then we do have some exhaust hangers for the exhaust as well. If you guys didn't know, I feel like this was such a topic back when I was like getting into Subarus is always replace your exhaust hangers. They used to make longer ones, shorter ones. You could adjust the height of the tip. The other big thing, my personal experience is I did put a NVIDIA N1 non-resonated catback on my car, my 2013 STI. It was so loud and droney, especially on the highway. Somebody said, did you do exhaust hangers? And I said, no, like it fits okay. And they're like, no, like the actual like rubber or the material, the urethane is, is different and it actually absorbs more of that vibration. So I put those on my car and it literally made like night and day difference. So if you guys have an exhaust on your car and it just, it's like a little more droney or rattly than you want, honestly, I would get like a different exhaust hanger. Usually the aftermarket ones are urethane and they are a stiffer than the factory ones. The factory ones are like really bendy and rubbery. So these just kind of, it's like a, it's a bit more of like a bushing that the exhaust hangs on and it kind of absorbs a lot of that drone and shake. So check that out. Good on you, Justin. Got those for me, appreciate you. Oh, the other thing is we got rid of the, uh, the chromed out lugs. So I wasn't a huge fan of these. I think I told him that. Not trying to be a hater. Justin, this car is beautiful. There's certain things that I'm glad you changed your mind on. They're just um, not my favorite bling bling blow. So we got the Muteki Super Tuner closed ended lug nuts on there. Those do have a locking key as well. So they'll help ensure the wheels stay on the car. So this is the factory radiator drain. You just loosen this up and then there's a valve on the bottom that drains it out. I just took it all the way out just to make sure there was nothing left in there. Um, but yeah, you just screw it back in and there it goes. It does drip directly on the frame brace here, under tray brace, which is just great. So just make sure you find a good spot to catch it. I ended up using a funnel right below the, the valve just to make sure that I didn't get it all over the subframe area there. Look at that catch, dude. Oh, we dripping. Oh, actually, by golly, would you look at that? All right, so we are up top now. I'm just going to start with the metal side of the hose. So we got the hose in. So yeah, let's get the car back in the air and start working the exhaust and then we can finish it up. Cool, so we have the mid pipe in there. I did leave the bolts a little bit loose just to give it some adjustment. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the split, the Y pipe here. Get that slip joint on there. I'm not gonna fully tighten that down either. We do want a little bit of uh, rotation to it. And then we'll get the mufflers on, the exhaust hangers, and then make sure that the spacing as well as the rotation is good on those and 
start tightening everything up as we go. Oh, much better. So we are going to start from the back to the front. So I'm gonna put the tips on and then all the adjustment on these is gonna be mostly through the slip joints that we have under there. So I'm gonna put the tips on, I'm gonna align those with the bottom of the muffler because I know that's straight. And then once I have that and know how close the tips are to the bumper, I'm gonna adjust the rest to make sure that the tips are, sit correctly. Now, if I were to do the other way around, like I said, once we get the tips on, then we would be like, oh, it sits too close or too far or whatever. So let's just start with the thing that matters looks wise, visually most, the tips, make sure that's good and then we'll work our way forward, ensuring that it is a good fit. Oh, nice. So we went through and just tightened the three slip joints. So we have the two on the ends and then the one in the center. Now I did notice that even though the tips were even on the end, the mufflers, this one was angled like down a little bit and then that one was straight. So we just did a little, uh, little loosening, a little tightening and uh, worked it out. So yeah, exhaust is all set. We obviously will give it a test to make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. But first we need some coolant. She's all set. Test drive. Let's go. Let's go. Tires are quiet. That's nice. I mean, yeah, car feels good. Right, Jordan? Feels great. <laughs> it's very, uh, like, tasteful. It's not very loud, but it makes, like, the right tone. And it's so light. I know he had a single exit titanium on before, and I'm sure it's, like, comparable weight. Um, or this might be even be heavier because two mufflers, but, yeah, the sound the tone. Sounds really great. But yeah, I mean, car feels great. Tires feel really good, very happy. No rubbing, which is really what I wanted to try out. I don't know what to tell you that I didn't tell you last time, dude. I like the exhaust. It's like throaty when you like really step on it. But like right now cruising, it's like very easy to talk. I'm not shouting over the car. So Justin's vessel is seaworthy. He is ready for the Cobb booth. We're very happy and uh, excited to be able to get this ready for him just in time. A little one day turnaround on it. But yeah, car feels great, looks great. And I'm excited to see his reaction to the wheels. So if you guys need a Cobb titanium exhaust, we sell those on our website, sergeantium.com. If you like the wheels, you like the tires, we can get you those as well. Love to help you out. Support us if you like these videos. Let us know if there's any part that you need for your car. We can get it for you and we can price match as well. Uh, if you are gonna be at Boxer Fest, it's probably too late by the time you see this video. It will be over and done with. But uh, if you guys were there, you saw Justin's car, leave a comment below, show some love. Till next time, see you later.